Hey YouTubers, uh, Midmo Headhunter here uh, with another video today. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, magazines and all these uh, magazines that you see before you, which is only four. This is just how many I've, I've got so far. Um, I got two steel mags and I got uh, two Tapco um, 30 round uh, banana magazines. Uh, they're polymer. Uh, there's pros and cons to both of them. Of course, the steel mags, they're going to last longer. Uh, they're not going to wear as fast. But the one downside to it is, uh, eventually, uh, you're going to have rust problems. You're going to, you know, they're going to rust a little bit. So you definitely got to keep those suckers oiled. And it's pretty easy to take these apart, um, which I'll probably show you in a later video, but I'll kind of give you an idea here. Basically, you see this little button. You want to push this down, and you'll slide the cover. That covers the bottom of the mag box magazine here, and it'll slide right off, and the spring and stuff will come out. Uh, definitely be keep in mind when you're taking that off uh, to oil them or to clean to clean them. Um, be careful that spring doesn't come out and shoot at you. So, and that's that's the same with the polymer magazines also. Um, these have been pretty good so far. No misfeeds uh, or anything like that. Uh, good magazine. I don't really know who makes them. I know they're just this regular steel magazines. I don't even think they even have a make make on them. But I always keep mine oiled and clean. Um, and those are also they're 230 round uh, magazines. I know one looks bigger than the other, but really they're the literally the exact same size. So with the polymer magazines, they're going to wear out faster. Um, they're going to be a lot lighter versus the um, steel magazines. But we're talking the wear on them. I mean, it's it's going to take a long time and thousands upon thousands of rounds uh, before uh, either of them start even showing signs of uh, wearing out. Biggest thing is the springs. They they are the things that actually start to wear out um, faster than anything else. The little uh, lips, like the front one, and of course the back one, those tend to wear out. It seems to me like a little bit slower than 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 most. Uh, on the steel and of course on the back of the polymer they have polymer uh, lips on them but both both of them are good magazines uh, but I'm just kind of showing you what I got so far uh, I plan to have uh, and you might check out uh, the Haas USMC uh, he does a great job of uh, illustrating how many magazines you should have and how much kind of kind of a starting foundation how much ammo you, sh you should have also uh, for those magazines uh, so definitely uh, check out, uh, it's the Haas USMC, and this is kind of a shout out video for him. Uh, I subscribe to his channel and I've been watching a lot of his videos. Uh, very, very uh, intelligent guy. Uh, he knows a lot of stuff, everything from, uh, you know, uh, tactics, uh, firearms, conceal and carry. I mean, just those are kind of some broad categories that he's been really good in. And he's also done some cooking videos too, you know, for preppers and stuff like that. Uh, definitely, definitely cool, cool videos. So definitely check out his channel. Uh, I really don't have a way to drop a link uh, below because I don't have a computer. Uh, but again, just type in the search bar the Haas USMC, and it should come right up. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you got the AK in the back. That's the Yugo, and four magazines, and an ammo can full of ammo, and a couple boxes there. Uh, Wolf and Red Army. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, subscribe if you hadn't already. Um, like our video. Drop a comment below if you got any questions uh, or comments uh, regarding uh, today's video on uh, magazines. Uh, as always, have a good day.